and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Natasha and I'm a full-time artist and illustrator living in Surrey in the UK. I make videos about my art and life and I frequently update my channel with new content. So please subscribe and press the little notification bell to make sure you don't miss any new videos. So one day we decided to go out to Polston Lacey, which is a National Trust property not far from where we live. And we just thought we'd go there, have a bit of lunch and a walk in the grounds. And I'm trying to shoot these tranquil scenes. It's really windy and rainy. And um, then there's this kid in the background on one of the clips just going, I don't like these chairs. I don't like these chairs at all. <laughs> and it's funny because I have it on one of the clips. This is the view from the front of the house this morning and this is the view from the rear of the house. So as you can see it's a beautiful day, we're going to go out, I'm going to take you with me because I need to go and do some grocery shopping in Rygate and then I'm going to be in the studio working, working, working and possibly packaging some orders and stuff like that. So I'm just going to take you around with me for a bit today. Morrison's car park and I don't know whether any of you are like me but I cannot park to save my life. I've been driving now since I was 23 I think and frankly every time I have to park in a situation like this where there are cars all around I am so cautious. I drive like an absolute granny. vlogging in the car. I feel like I'm being looked at. Anyway, two shops, 
three bags of groceries and an hour and a quarter later and I can finally go home, yay! And get on with some art and earn some more money for more food. I'm going to give you a super quick look at our grocery haul because I know I love looking at other people's groceries. <laughs> I'm really nosy like that. But um, yeah, as you can see, we have here, and I think I showed you these in the shop, wonky grapes. There's nothing wonky about these grapes, but they're literally half the price of the other grapes. I wish they wouldn't put them in plastic. All of this plastic really concerns me. I try to buy loose fruit and veg wherever I could, like the pears there, the salad onions, the bananas. But in Rygate, there's so little choice and the um, supermarkets seem to put everything in plastic. So there you go. We have, and we're coming over to the naughty bits, apart from the raisins, they're quite good. We also have chocolate raisins, I'm a bit of a raisin fiend. So there you go, that's what I got. Another thing I've been meaning to do is make a short video about the entire haul <laughs> I found on Kofi Beach the other week to show you everything I found during that beach combing session and I thought it would be fun to show them before I paint on them and then after I've painted on them so you can see a before and after and just have a general chat about beach combing, talk you through some of the pieces. So that's another thing to add to my to-do list. I've made a start on this little canvas here. It's going to be a little bird on a branch. It's on a nice deep edge canvas, as you can see. This is just the first layer. Um, I need to do the background first and then the bird and the branches will be on top so I'm just waiting for that to dry. There's a weird rattling sound in here. I don't quite know what it is, <laughs> what's going on. But anyway, um, maybe it's another earthquake. <laughs> we had a few. Uh, last summer and earlier this year so maybe it's that I don't know it's really weird anyway um, I've done the second coat on this little painting I'm using this brush here and um, I just need to wait for that to dry now and then I can do another coat of white it's now getting kind of dark in here and this has had um, how many coats of white two or three, two I think. I'm gonna leave it for tonight and come back in here tomorrow. It might have another coat, that might be the background. I might just leave it like that. But look, the sun is setting and it's time for me to go and get some dinner. We've come out for a walk this morning. We don't normally work <laughs> work this early. Walk this early. Oh my goodness, you can tell I'm not a morning person, can't you? We don't normally walk this early, but we keep meaning to do them at the end of the day. And then we get so into our work, it gets late, we need to get dinner. And because it gets dark now at around, I don't know, about quarter past eight, something like that, the nights are drawing in. And um, it basically means that we have ended up not walking. And as we're gonna be going to Cornwall and doing a lot of walking, we want to get some more exercise. So we've come out early in the morning, well, early for us to be out, 9.30, and we're doing a good walk before we start our day's work. Thank you. 
So that's the final post office run of the week done. I can go home now, finish a commission, and then go out for a walk before dinner. I have other orders, but they're all gonna wait until after the bank holiday weekend, and they'll go out next Tuesday. So there we go, we're done for the week with the orders. I've just propped it up here temporarily on the bookcase so you can see it. So I wanted to show you this, the finished bird painting. You saw me working on the really early stages of this. Um, I think it was on Tuesday, I can't remember, I think it was Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. And here it is on Friday, he's all finished and he'll be going off to his new home soon. I'll be kind of sad to see him go because I really like this little fellow. Look at I, let's see if we can focus in there so you can see all of his detail. Sorry about the shaky camera work. So there you go. I wish I'd recorded more of this one in progress, but it's been a bit of a hectic week. It's been a week of trying to finish commissions, get lots of orders out. I've been a little bit short on time and a bit stressed. <laughs> enjoyed this slightly longer vlog with a mix of life and art. I'm really enjoying vlogging in this format so I think I'll be making more of these in the future. Thank you as always for watching and if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because apparently this helps me out on YouTube. I'll be back soon with another one so I'll hopefully see you then.